What about this for some neckwear then? Do you like it? Wonderful. Supposed to be a caterpillar? Well, a millipede probably. Came out in the mid 80s. Wonderful idea this for kids. I didn't find many soft toys in my collection, but this was something I couldn't resist. It was a, a wonderful idea this, and was such fun for small children to play with at parties too. So I got one. I remember at the trade fair at the time, they had an enormous version with about um, 200 legs in it, which looks amazing, but that wasn't for sale. But this one is quite good enough. And they come in slightly smaller sizes, but this one I had to have for my toy collection. It's a very, very nice version of a plush toy, highly imaginative, with all the little socks, funny coloured socks. So I went through my collection looking for other versions of the creepy crawly, I suppose you call them. It's a mixture of caterpillars and millipedes and centipedes and things. And one of the earliest ones I came across is this one here. I think it was in 1977. It's a little wind-up, which I took along to kids' parties. They wound it up very easily because it's a soft motor. And then look at the effect. I love the way that back arch is like that. And here's, here's Baby falling, falling off as he came on a couple of years later, a smaller version of the same thing. I like the sideways action on this one as well. See what happens on the side. Very simple idea and delightful for children to see caterpillars. Another one at that time I bought was this one here. It's a, it's a, it's a pencil holder. In fact, there we are, there's the back end which has got the little legs, and it's got a little winder at the front. This is one of these micromotors, and it starts walking across the table. If I can get the legs in the right position, there we are. And it moves slowly, slowly, slowly across. Well, they've only got four legs, not, not, a, not, not a hundred legs, millipede, but never mind. You can imagine the other legs there. But a nice idea to make it into a little pencil holder, too, for, for children. That's, a, that's been delightful, I think. There's another way of powering these things, other than wind up. Well, there's electric, which I'll show in a minute, but this is a fairly rare one, which is the pneumatic one. It relies on an air pressure from an air valve when you squeeze it. In this case, it makes, makes that bellow that to get longer and shorter. And it's got funny little noisy bits in the wheels, which gives it that rattling effect. And if I hold it like this and put, encourage it to come across the table, it'll probably work a bit better. It works probably best with this type of toy on a carpet where that can grip as it goes through. And then a smaller version, but uh, look, it's more like these, those first two wind-ups. Is this one here, again, air bulb. It does action like that. And then you can get it to go across the table. Very satisfactory. Just help it across with a bit of action. It had a little hat on the original. I haven't got to find, find out what sort of hat it was and see if I can replace it with a red hat. So delightful stuff. So battery operated powered is uh, another version of uh, mechanism. And this is a very, very nice design. It looks like a little ro log of wood, I suppose, with a couple of red mushrooms on the top. When you open the door here, here is a blue centipede. Look at that. What a color, beautiful. Oh, and little legs too, rather like that giant one. Push this in, and what does it do? A battery leg. A very colourful scarf. What a colour. Have you ever seen a blue centipede? Oh, well, you have now. <laughs> Lovely idea. I love the idea of a little box that it goes into, like a house. <laughs> Here's a strange one I picked up from America about um, 20 years ago. It's a caterpillar um, with a face on the front there. But when you look at the bottom of the thing, it says, oh, it's bubble gum. It's a sweet. You eat it. <laughs> you eat these little balls here, part of the body, are actually little balls of bubble gum. So the kids can take them off and chew them and enjoy a bit of play with bubble gum. Nice one. Another one here, which at the time it was brand new, it was um, one of the ones which is sticky, you know, you, you throw these long worm type things, well this was a nice caterpillar, he's at the window and it slithered down, but he's gone missing. What's happened to him? Oh, well if any of you find a caterpillar at the bottom of your window, and it's one of these sticky ones, would you mind sending it back to me? Well, no. What happens actually with this type of um, technology is the plastic does eventually dry out, and so you can't, um, you can't use it after a while. But I thought I'd keep the packaging because it reminds me of something else which was to do with caterpillars. From my only childhood, I can remember seeing caterpillar balloons like this for many, many years. They look like this when they're not blown up, and they get pretty big when they are blown up. So at kids' parties, I would occasionally put in some helium so they'd float in the air, which is delightful for kids. But to have a body like that with all the ribbings, 
Um, for children, it's quite a thing to go from that size to that size, and then they can take it home as a little, little present from the party. And I did that on many occasions, in fact. Yeah. And then going back to battery-operated ones, this last one here is one from Gakken, the Japanese company who's been making marvellous automatons over the years. This was a kit I had to make up. It's supposed to be a kind of centipede, I suppose it was. And it came as a kit, which is tremendous fun to do, and then when you put in the switch here and turn it on, it performs. Isn't that extraordinary? When I got this, though, I did notice that some very inventive children did something quite extraordinary with it. One of them laid down, and a friend of his put this on the back, on their back, and had it crawling over the back. And I can tell you now, when I tried it myself, it's absolutely weird to get those, that effect like that on your, on your back. You can feel it through the skin. It's the most weird sensation. It's just something very, very strange is crawling all over you. So highly inventive things that kids can do with, um, with this Gatton toy. There's a lot of other things, I think, out there. And I think these are all creepy crawlers that um, I found extremely good entertainment for children at parties. This one in particular has been a, a real hit. <sighs> can you find some creepy crawlers? Beep, beep.